The federal government has confirmed that the Islamic State West African province is responsible for the attack on St. Francis Catholic Church of War that led to the death of about 40 persons on the 5th of June. Minister of Interior Rauf Arebe Shola, while speaking after a meeting of the National Security Council, disclosed that security agencies, particularly the police, have been directed to apprehend the perpetrators. The former governor noted that the attack has no ethnic religious co connection. From all indications, we, real, we, 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 have, we, have zero, we are zeroing in on ISWAP, the Islamic State for West Africa. It is not an ethno-religious thing. The animals in ISWAP wanting attention and recognition are suspected to have to, to have launched that attack and we have uh, we have directed all the agencies concerned to go after them and bring them to justice with a lot of uh, manpower that we are going to inject into the into into the system uh, by next month we are graduating about 10,000 policemen to to join uh, join us uh, in terms of uh, uh, logistics, we had a lot of uh, tools to work uh, more than ever before, and uh, and uh, with better welfare and so forth, I think we should also expect better performance. And joining me now to discuss this announcement by the federal government is a security expert, Che Aditayo. Good to have you join us. Yeah, good afternoon. So let me start by getting your thoughts on this announcement um, by coming from the federal government that ISWAP is responsible for the attack in Owo um, on the 5th of, of, of June, bearing in mind that no group has taken responsibility for the attack. And then um, in terms of method of operation, I I if that is also what you saw um, in that attack. Yes, um, it's a fact that um, the modus operandi of um, ISWAP is that um, after every attack, they usually, carried out by them, they usually claim responsibility uh, for such actions. If you look at um, the last um, one month, uh, that ISWAB had carried two attacks in Kogi State, Okene, they took responsibility in less than 24 hours uh, on each of the separate uh, incidents. And uh, since this particular incident now, which is now getting, cl getting close to a week, now, and nothing coming from ISWAP, um, I find it difficult to uh, agree. However, uh, uh, once you also understand from the statement by uh, the Minister for Communication that they are zeroing in on ISWAP, that, which means that they don't have the absolute, uh, I mean, then the conclusion is not absolute. Uh, perhaps maybe they have some information that they are piecing together and is tending more uh, to to ISWAP elements. But uh, I, I strongly um, don't want to agree uh, with that because this is one group that always want to, and it is always published. They are they are they are rested. They they are claim on each of these attack are published internationally so it is more or less like something that um, they want to use to to establish their position within the within the larger uh, isis network uh, to show how how much of um, activities that they are doing in nigeria i mean in mm. their own terrain which is like here so if they have, they have been able to carry out such an attack that uh, had really you know hit the, the nation at the core. Mm. Of, and of, and of with that level of casualty. But l let me just exactly. jump in here. Um, let's try and connect the dots. Um, we, s we know that ISWAP has had a lot of attacks, you know, in, in the north. And you also just mentioned um, Kogi. So when you look at the several attacks that have been carried out by ISWAP, which they have taken responsibility for, and you look at this particular attack in Owo, beyond just take re taking responsibility, are there similarities between those attacks and this particular attack that one can say, oh, um, ISWAP does this regularly, so it has to be, it, 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 might, it might just be ISWAP? Exactly, because uh, from, from police EOD investigation, hides were discovered. And I believe that is one of the reasons why government is married on ISWAP. Now, this is, this is my own take. 
You see, there are dissidents within the elements uh, uh, of this terrorist organization. People will break away and they try to carry out their own activities. It's not the first time when you see a particular commander pulling out and they're trying to create his own group and they're carrying it out, not following the ideology or the objective of the main organization, but for criminality and for pecuniary, uh, for, uh, yeah, for reasons. So I, I see, I see uh, traces uh, in terms of um, the modus operandi uh, of, of ISWAP in this particular attack, but it might not actually be sponsored by, by the hierarchy of, 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 of ISWAP because all, not um, many organizations has the capacity and capability to prep an IED. Uh, so, so, so th that that is a bigger, a, a very big issue. Here. If you look at the 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 uh, Kaduna train attack, the one that took place last year in October, mm. IEDs were used, but it was not effective. As at that time, investigation showed that ISWAP elements had been recruited by the bandits to carry that attack, and now they waited for another six months to hear about to launch another one on that particular rail, which was successful. Mr. So, Shea Detayo. Yeah. Um, again, I just want to quickly jump in because should we be worried if we're saying that, let's assume, because it's still, it's still on a suspicion, on a suspicion base, um, it is not that it has been said categorically that it is ISWAP, but if we're going to go with that statement, it does mean that we're saying that these terrorists have infiltrated the Southwest. Um, how uh, is it that we're surrounded by terrorists now? Or that they come in um, and, and carry out the, this kind of attack and then go back to their base? Should we be concerned or worried? We have we, la we have active uh, operations of um, different terrorist groups uh, in the southwestern part of Nigeria um, under different guys, under different groups, because banditry itself is also terrorism. And the active terror cells as well. They have been in operation. I know for sure that intelligence agencies in Nigeria, they have been very active in trying to dismantle uh, 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 various cells. At every point in time that this terrorist group tried to plant cells, they, they, they discover them and they dismantle them quietly in order not to create panic or apprehension in the society. And I know they are still doing that. However, the activities of bandits is well known. If you, if, if you look at the testimonies of people like, um, I mean, uh, Barista Ijofo, people like uh, Tosin Alao, the musician that was kidnapped, you know, the guy emphasized that uh, though they were kidnapped around Kugi, but they were taking them through the forest into Ekiti State, Ondo State, Edo State. So these guys are very mobile. They work for more than 200 kilometers uh, for that period of time that he was held. And these people have been moving around, and they are not just only one group, there are several of those groups. What I discovered is that they must have somebody in their camp who has been trained by ISWAP or any of the known terrorist group, be it ISWAP, be it Ansaru, or the core book that is already part or leading this particular group and can help them to prep. We've seen, like I made mention of the of the attack on, 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 on the train in Kaduna, the first attack, intelligence showed that they employed you know, a bomb expert that came all the way from Bronze State to help them to prep the, 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 rail, uh, the rail lines. And yeah. I know, as at that time, there are several others like that with that capacity that mm -hmm. must have been, you know, moved around the country. And only, only God this knows is in, indeed a cause for concern. And um, maybe uh, another, uh, I wish we have enough time to talk about the, uh, whether this is time for for um, state policing, but I'm told my time is up. Thank you so much for talking to our security expert, Shea Adetayo. Pleasure is mine.